Next thing I know, a car just drove straight into me. It was a Saturday night in September when a drunk driver slammed head on into Bob Hargan's car on 60th Street in West Allis. I could smell the fuel. I was trapped in the car. With a dozen broken bones and unable to move, suddenly Hargan heard a voice. It went from the loudest noise of the accident to eerily quiet. And also the first thing I remember is a woman grabbing my hand and starting to pray and I was wondering, am I, am I up there now? Or I didn't know. He says a woman came to him and prayed with him until the calm was broken by the sound of approaching sirens. And then I could hear the ambulances and everything coming and she was gone. Gone as quickly as she had appeared. Was there an angel? He's sure she's real and is now searching for her to say thanks through this column in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and here. But he doesn't even know what she looks like. The accident happened right there and Bob says when his car landed here, he was trapped inside. He could feel the touch of that woman's hand and hear her voice, but he couldn't see her face. I couldn't see her because of the airbags that were pushed against my face. I felt her arm are grabbing my hand. Now Hargan is working to walk again, but says he's comforted by the words of the woman who came to his aid and was gone before he could thank her. Almost every day I wonder who, who was that person. In New Berlin, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. Just to have someone with you when yes. you're going through such trauma yeah. means so much. Hargan is recovering at the Linden Grove Rehab Facility in New Berlin. He has undergone four surgeries and says he will need one more before he can walk again.